uh, yeah, and I'm looking forward to publishing all this content. Okay, so next, uh, Hashita, uh, are you ready? Mm, yeah, so hi all. So the, hi all. So thanks for your presentation. Oh, yeah. And uh, you can uh, just share your screen if you need it. Oh, okay, so. So for for this talk, I have I just wanted to show a demo, and just so so my project for the gen. So I'm working on working with GSOC 2021 uh, under the project named Git Credentials Binding. So in this under this project, we are trying to achieve. Git authentication in pipeline jobs. So uh, I've created a small demo. It's not a big one, but I think we can get an idea of what we are doing here. So in this pipeline script, we are using the credential binding plugin as a dependency to bind the Git specific environment variables such as Git ask pass or Git SSH uh, to perform the authentication operations on the behalf of the user. So they don't have to worry about any workarounds or any prompts that my, you might get when you are performing the authentication on a command line or console. So. So as we can see that there are three in my four environment environment bindings that are being used to carry out this operation. So the git ask pass is basically used for store for storing the path of the script that will be executed when uh, git asks for the username password of the user to carry out the operation in this so in this example, I'm just uh, making just making a clone of the of a private repository. So I'm making the clone of this repository, which is a private repository. Um, well, this is also this binding is tested on a lot of uh, OS environments in Windows in various Linux distributions such as sent OS, Ubuntu, OpenVSD, and various architectures as well. So the so the project, uh, for now, the, I have shown the git username and password binding, but there's also another binding called git ssh private key binding, which uh, will use for the ssh protocol authentication. And, and that's all for the for the talk. <laughs>